This video is part of a course on food physics of which this is the theory section. This short section on continuity equation belongs to the governing equations for single phase transport processes. Other related videos, uh, separate ones, uh, cover fluid flow, heat transfer, and mass transfer. Um, the equations are complete, but they are not meant to be a replacement of a course on transport processes, and they are kind of the quick versions. We will now derive the continuity equation. It is really conservation of total mass. And this point I really want to emphasize, and, uh, and for that I show this picture of a dye in water. If we are interested in how the dye moves, either diffuses or flows inside the water, that is something we discuss in the mass transfer or a conservation equation for the mass species of the dye. That is not what we are talking about here. That is not what we are talking. We are talking about uh, the movement of total mass, the dye plus water system here. Uh, so separate uh, places you would have derivation for how the dye moves in the water. So here, to derive this equation, I would first uh, put a control volume in space. So this control volume has the uh, size delta x, delta y, delta z. And as the water uh, you know, could be flowing inside this container, this water plus dye system, uh, things would be coming into the control volume and going out of the control volume. And so we just simply want to write a mass balance that the, these ins and outs and other quantities are related. So our uh, equation said in word is, is that we have uh, stuff coming into the control volume, coming out of the control volume, and generation, any generation of mass inside the control volume would cause a change in storage. Okay. Now we're talking about the total mass. It's not the dye in the water, it's the total mass. So the total mass of everything together. So that we cannot have generation. Mass cannot come out of nowhere, so we cannot have mass generation. So we're going to have in minus out is change in storage. And we're going to write this now symbolically and we are going to do this balance over time delta t. So to do that we really need to know uh, how much stuff is coming in and to do that we need to know the flux. So flux of this total quantity is u, the velocity of the total quantity in meters per second times the total quantity in kilograms per meter cube. So that gives me kilograms per meter square per second of stuff coming in, coming in from the left. So the amount coming in from the left over time delta T would be given by this. That flux at location X, so this is my X, and this is x plus delta x, of course. And so what's coming in is this rho u, the flux at x, times the area. So if we think of in terms of units, it's kilogram per meter square per second times the area is meter square times 
Second is the time period over which we, we are talking about. So if we cancel these units, then it's this is the amount that comes in over time delta t. And in the same way, the amount leaving, so the out term is the same rho u, but evaluated at the location x plus delta x, which is the right edge of the control volume, times the same area and same time. So then this is my out term, and in minus out would be change in storage. So the only way it can store more is because it's the total quantity if the density changes. So this is my change in density and density is mass per unit volume. So we multiply by the volume of the, the control volume. Okay. And so now we simplify this. How did we get this? We divide throughout. We divide by what? Delta X, delta Y, delta Z, delta T. So if we do that, then we get, uh, here we get del rho over del T, and the rest of it we get rho u rho at x plus delta x minus u rho at x, sorry for the um, crowding there, uh, divided by delta x equal to zero. And now we shrink the, this control volume to zero to get the differential equation. So we make delta x, delta y, delta z, delta t go to zero. So that would give me the differential equation del rho del t plus del del x of u rho equal to zero. That is my continuity equation in 1D. I did not consider things leaving this in this direction or the uh, y direction. And so, so then this continuity equation is written in more general form, not just 1D or in a, a particular coordinate system, in a more general form, it is this. And this is always true. We don't have a choice. This is always true. So it is enforced on other transport equation. And, and that's why we mostly do not uh, discuss solving it explicitly or when we're doing a problem formulation into the equations we are going to solve we don't bring it in as a separate equation explicitly often in problem solve uh, formulation that doesn't mean it's not there it's very much there so summarizing then continuity equation or conservation of mass is always there and it is enforced into the other transport equations.